ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family-friendly gaming with Soap the Great. We are back at my house as the sun goes down over here on the Hypermind Vanilla server. And down here, made a little bit of a change. So we're just doing a, a slight L instead of the half plus sign that was there, a half cross that was there. And uh, yeah, I think that's a little bit better. It kind of... the the creek kind of teases out from under there. But uh, we're not going to spend our time down here. No, we're going to go upstairs. And before anybody else resets the thing, well, well, we're by ourselves today. And is that, do I have my, oh, skin servers must be down or something. But uh, I am Alex, apparently, and not Steve. Interesting. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I don't know what that's about, but yeah, I guess the skin servers just are down. What I'm going to do here, we're going to knock out the bedroom, or the the beds there, because we are going to put some carpet down, and then we'll bring the beds back, like so. All right, so we're going to be working on the upstairs. You see it's kind of a open and kind of barren, and we want to fix that a little bit here, and so... The first thing we need to do is really just split this area up into separate rooms. And I'm going to be using the same same colors that I used downstairs. So the walls are going to be like this. We're going to go to there. That should... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that I got all the measurements correct when I was building the house. And that looks like it is measuring up correctly. And then what we're going to do is come over like that. And then at some point I put in a door. But first things first, we're going to get these walls in. And I believe the door is right there. All right, so next up what we need to do is we're just going to continue this. We go six out. It should come in to match along with that one. All right. And wow, that takes up a decent amount of clay. Hopefully I have enough to finish the project. I think we did manage to get that correct. And so what we'll do, we'll have, I think our, yep, our door goes right there. And then over here, our door goes right there. But let's just, let's just make sure. Over here, we've got a little bit of an inset area. Our closet is gonna go there. But again, we're using a white stained clay for our walls. And then uh, we'll have to get some more materials. Let me bring up my screenshot over here. And yes, it looks like, let's just make sure. I hope I get the right measurements. Um, yeah, yep. So, so we're gonna come over Right, let's see, Let me, let's just get some of the closet in place. That way we know for sure. Okay, so we'll have a couple of shelves right there. And then we'll bring in some lighting as well. We're gonna need that. And you're familiar with this lighting by now. We use the, what is the sea lanterns under a cauldron. And I'm gonna go back around after the fact and, uh, and take care of the water. But for now, let's just pop that out. And we'll put some, some lights right like so. And then back here, uh, we're gonna run into builder's inventory again. Did I get rid of the stained clay? I did. And that's not a good thing. We're gonna come out like that. And then again like that alongside our closet and then right in front of that we will put some of our lighting as well i'm going to come back through and take care of the details a little later but my main concern right now is the walls okay and we need what six there not that one so up here is going to be a master bedroom and then this is going to have a bathroom of course and I hope I get that correct and there we go that should be that should be it 
and uh, yeah we're gonna come along with our furniture again using the birch we should be good on our wall so I may be able to put this away and uh, we'll go right like that and like that and that is a little table there and we've got we'll get the get all the little details together in just a moment but, uh, but yeah I want to make sure that we've got our our overall setting correct here okay we should be good there and let's I think the, the wall right there is slightly off let's get our doors and we'll see yeah yeah we're, we're gonna knock that out we're gonna put our doors we're done with those like that and then we'll come back in with our white stained clay like that all right so that should be that wall and we'll have some paintings and stuff that come in uh, in just a moment but uh, let's make sure we got the door correct there we've got a little bit of a a furniture installation and if you see if you see that the screen flicker a bit it's because for some reason the windowed borderless gaming doesn't like uh, it doesn't it doesn't work so well with switching between our contexts there so yeah we're gonna put a little light fixture there and then up top just to highlight the painting that's gonna go right there there we go all right now uh, on this side we're going to do another one of those and then right there oh thank goodness for jump boost and we'll do the same thing right there there we go all right so that's where our light fixtures are going to go hopefully i get those just right and again you've seen the trouble that i go through on paintings we're not going to be doing that right now all right so let's let's move back out into this area we need some more light fixtures here and here I believe like that and then there's supposed to be one somewhere around here I think this is probably a good spot and there we go all right next up we need a little bit of a shelf situation here and I can just come over to the side like that and like that and again we're gonna go in with a light fixture alright so you get the point right like that and then over here we're gonna do another one alright since since I did put this together in my creative testing world I have been watching a guy by the name of Andy is Yoda and he has recently been putting together some tutorials on how to build better oh that's gonna show through you might have to yeah we'll have to go back through and do some work on the underside of this but this should be six long one two three four five six yep and originally I had the gray stained clay right to this point and and one of the things he warns about is not having connected textures okay so where like like right right here we would have had some white stained clay and then gray stained clay right next to each other he says don't do that and and I have to agree with him it, it works a lot better if you put in a little bit of a defining characteristic right here so we we got rid of the gray stained clay and then we're hiding that back here like so okay and well I just messed it up but uh, you, you get the point out here we we hide it and now I'm not I'm not too keen on what we've got going right there but we'll figure that out alright so uh, I still have to get back into the house and we will go back and fix our mess like that all right now that we've got uh, some a decent amount of our ooh, we are definitely gonna have to come back through and put something on the bottom side of that floor but for now I think we can go through and add our 
or cauldrons. All right. And let's just make sure. Yeah, there we go. And I hope I have enough. No, I've got one too many somewhere out there. Let's see. I'm thinking that one of those should not be there. Maybe it's this one. We'll see. And this should be a silk touch. Yep, yeah, it's a silk touch. And that's a good thing. And what we're going to do is replace our floor and then go back through and put our cauldron. It is nighttime. Again, that's 10 minutes in. Can you believe it, folks? 10 minutes in, and we've hardly gotten started. That's amazing. So uh, let's take care of some of the details here. If it seems kind of haphazard, it's because I'm kind of doing this um, kind of by the seat of my pants here, you know, because I, I try not to skip out to my screenshots so much. And I don't have enough of those, but we can make one of those real quick. Let's just do it like that, and there we go. All right, so that is our main bedroom area, and then what we can do is bring in a little bit more carpet right there. We can't do carpet right there because the trap door is in the way, but we can bring in some brown wool like so. And if you're kind of worried about me not picking up that stuff, well, it's because we are in a taiga. I have plenty of spruce around. Not a problem. We didn't want that one. All right. So that should be our, our bedroom. Fairly well complete. It's a little bit noisy on the block. So which one is that? We'll bring that down. I think I had that turned up because I've been playing Material Energy Hypercube, although they should be using different settings, but I've been playing that and they've got some cool block noises. Maybe that's the one that doesn't go there. How's that? That feels too tight of a, of a curve. I don't like that. So we'll see. We shall see about that. And we can get rid of our other door. Did I get both of them? No. Ladies and gentlemen, did you see? I didn't make another door. We've got, we don't have enough doors. That's a problem. They don't have enough spruce either right there. It's all down in my storage room. So we'll have to come back and do the doors later. But let's, uh, let's go quickly into the bathroom. And we'll take care of that. Yeah, I don't have enough stuff here. So, um, so yeah, we're going to have to uh, speed things up a bit. Let's get our, we've got our pillar quartz and buttons. And we're going to work on, we're going to work on the guest bathroom. And this is why I'm thinking that our door is going to be over one. But we shall see. I'm thinking that we needed... We do need a little shower area. And I don't know if you've seen showers in Minecraft. We've got a few detail blocks that you can use, but we certainly want to protect the floor from any water damage, right? And so the way we do that is uh, we come out. Yeah, so yeah, I think our, our wall needs to go like that. And then we're going to knock out this one and then below, we're just going to put a little bit of a lighting situation there. And then we want our iron bars to connect all the way around. So what we do is we make that a solid block like that. And there we go. That's our, our drain. Okay. And then we'll put the iron bars back and we'll come in with a little bit of stained glass panes and is there enough yep there's enough for me to get in there and then up top do a little bit of a tripwire hook is that hmm I don't like that we do two yeah uh, I don't know and it doesn't seem like there's enough room guys uh, yeah, I don't, it doesn't look like enough room is in here 
for this overall situation. Maybe I put the shower in the wrong spot, but you can kind of see the the situation there. No, okay, we, what we can do is uh, we're gonna make our, our toilet down. Those usually go fairly close to the shower because all the water is running into that wall. And then we'll put on a an iron trap door. That's the lid. And then off to the side, yep, you need a little bit of a, we need a, a paper towel roll. Okay, so, or not a paper towel, but a, a toilet paper roll. So we got a little button there, and then an item frame, and then we come to the side there, and let's just rotate like that. And there is paper, or a, a toilet tissue. Okay, toilet tissue roll. And I think our sink is gonna go right here, and that was supposed to be one of these cauldrons. Let's, let's just steal one, just so you can see, okay? And I'm going to steal the one that I think is going to be changed out. So there we go. We're going to put a little bit of a light below it. And we'll assume that the drain is going to go out into the wall. And there we go. And we'll bring back a little tripwire hook for... No, that's still... That's not... Uh, I, don't, I don't like the feel of that. So let's, let's put out that that part of the wall or floor and uh, yeah I'm, I'm all discombobulated here uh, so there we go and then our floor back over there and then we'll put our stolen cauldron like so we could put the sink right here like that hmm Ooh, scary noises. All right, you can kind of see how this whole thing is coming together. There's our shower. And we're going to repeat kind of the same. It's not the same layout necessarily, but we're going to repeat the same stuff in the uh, master bathroom. But I'm going to take a little jump cut. I'm going to finish up the rest of this, take a little tour around, and show you the rest of the details. All right? So I'll see you in just a moment. They definitely need to add some sort of UI for this. This is an exercise in frustration. I want the 4x3. There's a couple of them. I did manage to get a 4x3 a couple of times, just not in the place I wanted it. So, uh, man, that's annoying. Everything except the 4x3. See that? Nothing. Nope. And then, with them just jumping all over the place, you, you tend to lose them. That might change in the upcoming 1.9 update. But anyway, we've got a little bit of progress to show. So here we go. I finished off the details here. Let's see. What? Uh, yeah, let me show you something out here. I, I was saying that this was kind of kind of a tight squeeze through there. That was right. The those uh, those. Those bushes shouldn't have been there. That was for something else. And then over here, we've got some art installation. And yeah, so that's the detail. And you can see that we've managed, I think, to get rid of all of the torches around the inside. All right, so outside, we still got a torch right there. Got to figure out a lighting situation for that. Same thing over there. And and uh, not there let's go out here to the balcony and out here we need some sort of lighting thing as well because uh, I want to get rid of torches um, that was one of the that's one of my goals for saying that this place is done is that I have no visible torches because a modern build doesn't use torches that's more of a medieval type thing one more try oh okay uh, let's go take a look at the master bath. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, this was one of the cases. Excuse me while my throat goes a little wonky. This was one of the cases right here where I got one of those 4x3s and it ended up covering the door. I don't want a 4x3 right there. I want it on that wall. Can I get it on that wall? But there we go. We couldn't quite put the drain over in the corner. That's the other thing I'm going to show you over in the other bathroom. I was able to put it in the corner, and that centered the um, 
that faucet a little bit better. But uh, we can't do that because we've got gray stained clay showing on the outside of the build. And I don't want this stone texture. I want stone texture on the inside of the drain, but not on the outside of the, the walls there. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. We get a little bit of detail. There's not much that you can do in vanilla here, but we can kind of give give the idea that this is a bathroom. There's no mirrors or anything. There's no cabinetry. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's kind of a simple bathroom. And there's plenty of other toilet options that you could build with stairs. And But that's the one that I, I chose there. We've even got a little bit of storage up here. And we've been using it. So, so yeah, let's go take a look at the guest bathroom just to show you the drain. See, I pushed it back into the corner. And then there we go. There's the faucet right there. And this is not original, uh, the original design for this bathroom. This, uh, we moved it a little bit based on how it seemed after putting it together just now. So I like, I like the toilet being right there. I like the sink being right there. So that works. It's a, it's a nice and functional. Well, I mean, as functional as a bathroom can be in a game that doesn't require bathrooms. So, uh, so yeah, there we go. Um, what I was saying earlier about connected textures, you can see right here we've got white stained clay right up next to gray stained clay. It's an awkward transition, and in the future I'm going to try and avoid it, but for now we can't do that because the window right here needs the gray stained clay all the way around, and the internal walls are white stained clay. So what we're going to do is we're going to chalk this building up to... Uh, beginner okay this is my first ever modern build and so I'm still learning and there are things that I still have to work on and we will take care of that in the future but hopefully you enjoyed this installment of family friendly gaming with soap the great again if I'm not comfortable sharing it with my kids I'm not gonna share it with you we're gonna go put away our materials and if you have any comments questions or suggestions feel free to leave those down below or catch me on Twitter at MC Soap the Great. And uh, next week, we're going to be over at the Office High Rise. We've got some work to do over there. And just to give you a heads up for future scheduling for Hypermine, we're going to be working or, or at least prioritizing the Guardian Farm. Okay, so that is another project that is in the works. Okay, hopefully you... Um, would like to see that and if you've been paying attention to the channel you will have just seen uh, let's see when's this video coming out last week okay last week I had a showcase for a guardian farm and that's the farm that I'm gonna build here on hypermind Kondrick's gonna help me out got a lot of work to do for it but uh, we're gonna be throwing that into the schedule so can I get in a little bit more of a mix and our time here at the house in terms of decoration is coming to a close. We've got the patio to take care of. We've got some more lighting that we need to fix up there. You can see torches still hanging out, but we are getting to a close. And you can see Kondrick has been doing some work. And I like what I'm seeing over there. And uh, hey, I, I know Lapis has been helping him out. so. Anyway, we got some good stuff over here. We're going to be turning our attention to the underground portion of the base, turning our attention away a little bit from the decoration. But anyway, just to give you a heads up, we're not going to be quite doing the alternating house and an office high rise, but uh, get some other stuff in there. Hopefully you enjoy that. Do let me know what you think of the schedule. And if you'd like to see more of one project or another, let me know that as well. But uh, anyway, stay tuned next week for the Office High Rise. Pretty excited about it. we got some cool stuff going there. And I'll see you then. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.